Hi Gemini, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general monthly reading for the sign of Gemini for the month of January 2020. Happy New Year you guys. Uh, let's get started. I pulled a 10 card spread for you guys. I did clarify the one card as well as I pulled an outcome card and three clarifiers. Very nice energy. Good for you Gemini. Uh, you have the Three of Cups here, whoever this is meant for. Uh, the Three of Cups is you want happiness here, okay? You want to change in regards to love here with the Five of Cups, literally turned looking, okay? Uh, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Uh, they want me to add the Five of Cups to the Three of Cups. That's the Eight of Cups. Guess what? Uh, if I can pick it up. You got the outcome of the Eight of Cups. So there's definite walking away from a love situations of dropping the situation with the eight with the Ten of Wands here. Ten, ten is if I can talk. Ten is known for that completion in regards to dropping the burdens after being in the dark about things with the uh, Moon card here. Literally coming over saying, "Excuse me, I can see now in regards to dropping the burdens, trying to stay strong in regards to what do I do in my life." All right. Uh, not feeling the love here in regards to a relationship. You, you have been manifesting for things to improve through this strength, I feel, with the magician here. Right underneath it is the strength card. Could be dealing with the Leo energy as well here. But you're making a choice, a decision of not feeling this love, okay? Doing something about it. Okay, absolutely, because it has been stressing you out. You're at that nightmare stage up at 3 a.m., crying your eyes out. Been there, done that, uh, but definitely mentally anguishing here, and you are man now making a choice, a decision with the two of wands turned looking at it. You may be st taking a step back and, and looking at your life, looking at the situation at hand, looking at all the stress here, and making finally this month of January to make that choice, that decision, to drop the burdens of all this stress and to get a new start of balance for yourself. Uh, the air signs, uh, the Gemini, the Libra, and the Aquarius all pretty much have the same type of energy here. It's it's, it's in the air. <laughs> no, no pun intended, but it really is. Uh, here's the outcome, okay? Walking away. Walking away. Somebody could be walking away from a love situation, absolutely, but we're, look where you're heading towards. The knowledge, okay? The, the insight, that sword, that new start with that ace of swords, that's insight in regards to what exactly you want with your thoughts here. You know, you're walking towards your thoughts, a new start, a new fresh start. Welcome to January, people. It's a new year, new you, okay? That's what I'm feeling here in regards to movement, getting out of your head, moving forward and saying, devil, uh-uh. You ain't going there, son. You see how the hand is literally putting over? You can come on through. I'm not going to put up with it no more. The devil is a very toxic energy. You're going to push. You're going to struggle. But you do see this insight in regards to walking away from a love situation that you weren't feeling love about, that you were indecisive about. But yet in the same realm, you had the magician. You were manifesting for things to improve in your life, to have that change debating whether or not to walk away. You are walking towards that new insight with that Ace of Swords and you're moving forward and saying, no, no, Mr. Devil, no, no, Mr. Toxicity. I'm at my breaking point. I'm making a new decision in regards to getting a new start with my thoughts, with my balance. And that's what I have. I hope this helps, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click that little bell on the side to get updated information. You guys rock, stay strong, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.